Hi everyone! Today we're still in the beautiful city of San Francisco. Right now we are in the Golden Gate Park and there's so many fun things to do and see like this amazing museum behind me called the Young. Yeah, there are so many interesting neighborhoods and great architecture in the city, so let's go and explore that. In 1849, a lot of people came to San Francisco to search for gold. The population increased from 1,000 to 25,000 in one year. It's called the California Gold Rush. Yeah, and the treasure seekers were called the 49ers because they arrived in 1849. And nowadays, the San Francisco football team is called the 49ers. And this house is a Victorian greenhouse that was built in 1878. And it's the oldest building in the Golden Gate Park. It houses a large collection of exotic plants. Yeah, and speaking of plants... Now this is the place to wear flowers in your hair. This is on the corner of Haight and Ashbury, and it's been the mecca for hippies since the 60s, with its peak during 1967, the Summer of Love. And as you can see, this area is still really hippie-ish, uh, with lots of cool and amazing painted houses. Look at that blue one right there. Yeah. That like, is a very vibrant color. Yeah, I love this blue. And the ones back there, yeah. I think, are like some of the coolest houses I've ever seen. Like, right? it's very Disney-esque. It kind of reminds me of Disney, right? Yeah, I love it. And then, so we're heading up. Oh yeah, it's really steep. I'm getting out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, I feel like I need to work out more. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> this one is my favorite because it has like, yeah, just like it's really bright, all bright colors. And then this one over here is really cool <gasps> as well. I love that. Yeah. It's I feel like there's a competition here, like who, who, can, nice stay, who can stand out the most, you know? Yeah. <laughs> who has the most colorful house? I love how this area just still feels very hippie-ish, you know? Yeah, like very 60 vibes. Yeah, the hippies moved here because of the availability of cheap rooms and vacant properties. Yeah, and the media really helped build this hippie colony because it brought youth from all over America. Yeah. Here we have the first free store as well as the first free medical clinic and they were all ran by donations. I think that is amazing. I wish they still did that today. That would be amazing. Ooh, skeleton. That is really fun. Lots of cool costumes. I feel like really if you're going to a costume party or something, this is like the area to come to if you're in San Francisco. Mm, you could probably get like the best costumes from here, I'm sure. This looks like some kind of a, a big market. You can buy some food and sit outside. And yeah, it's nice, huh? Get some sunshine on your face. Oh wait. You can buy some costume? I love these boots. You know what? I quite like the dress behind it as yeah. well. These are like the perfect cowboy boots. I feel like people think that cowboy boots can't be worn casually, but I don't agree. I think that like a pair of jeans, a t-shirt, and some cowboy boots, that is like a killer outfit right there. Very chic. Yeah, very yeah. chic. Wow, there's so much to look at here. Yeah, there's so much going on at the street. Oh, hey, there's a cool store. You want to yeah. go? Yeah, let's go. Wow. wow. Really cool. Everything is so colorful in here. Yeah. Do look you at... see this? Yeah, oh these are gosh. beautiful. Here. Look how pretty this is. Yeah, that's beautiful. Oh, they have lots of earrings. Yeah. These ones I really like. They're cute. They're like a little dangly. Look how cool these masks are. Oh, wow. Mm. Dream catchers up there. Dream catchers. I love dream catchers. Wow. If you take a look over here, there's a bunch of different crystals here. And a lot of people believe that crystals actually have healing powers. Yeah, like cleansing powers and that if you mm. wear some like a specific stone, then you can get more love in your life. So different stones have different powers, basically and then you would just carry them in your little pockets. Oh, they got some drums. You can create a band. Yeah. Ooh. It's perfect when it's a little warm. And the design is gorgeous too. These here are also super cute. They're little slippers, but I don't think my feet will fit into these slippers. They're more for kids or adults with very small feet. <laughs> I have a chicken bag. <laughs> These bracelets are really pretty too. Look at that. Oh, I would totally wear this. Oh yeah, that is nice. A lot of skulls here. Oh, 
Ooh, How cool those are, are fun. these? It, yeah, these you are, blend right in. It goes with the vibe, yeah. right? What, what a great it? store. Yeah. I love it. Oh, wow. Yeah. How cool is this? I just love this area. And it's cool that they have a picture of Janis Joplin because she actually used to live here as well as the Jefferson Airplane and the Grateful Dead. So it's a really cool area, very hippie-ish, lots of cool buildings, mm -hmm. colorful houses, great stores as well. Yeah, and yeah. you know what? I know some famous houses in another neighborhood. You want to go check it out? Oh yeah, let's do it. Right now we're standing in Alamo Square Park, which is just a really nice park to come and hang out in if you want to get away from the city a little bit. And talking about famous houses, this row of nearly identical Victorian houses is really well known. Do you recognize it? These are called the Seven Sisters. They are painted ladies. A painted lady is a Victorian house that is painted with three or more colors. Yeah, and these are some of the most famous ones, but there are so many more in the neighborhood to enjoy. What a fun time we've had here in San Francisco, and we got to see some amazing houses, which I am really happy that I got to experience. So the next episode is going to be the last episode of the season, and you will see myself and Asia again, and also Maria and Liam. And Kendra and Eleanor will make a special appearance because the season finale will be the last episode that we, the EF vlog presenters, make for now. We know that many of you have traveled with EF and that you enjoy making your own videos, so we thought that it was time to hand over the relay baton to you guys. And in two weeks, we're gonna introduce the competition, which is the EF Student Stories video competition. I'm so excited for that. Don't forget to watch that episode. It's time for you guys to start making videos now. Bye! Bye. Uh, day, I sent for the <laughs> <laughs>